How a student completes a test with smarter proctoring in Blackboard. What is smarter proctoring? Smarter proctoring is our college's tool for securing and proctoring online tests in Blackboard. Smarter proctoring uses automated proctoring tools that the instructor can use to lock down the student's browser, prompt the student to verify their identity with a photo ID, and record the student while they complete the test. This tool is best used for delivering midterm or final exams. To access a test that is protected by Smarter Proctoring, the student must use a computer with an up-to-date version of the Google Chrome web browser. The browser must allow cookies, have the Smarter Proctoring Chrome extension installed, and allow connection to a webcam with microphone. Students cannot use tablets or smartphones with Smarter Proctoring. The instructor may require students to present a photo ID to verify their identity before accessing a test. Let's take a look at how a student will complete a test with Smarter Proctoring. When accessing the Blackboard course, the student clicks on the Smarter Proctoring tool link that the instructor has provided in the course menu. The student will be taken to a Smarter Proctoring website. If this is the first time the student has ever used the product, the student will be prompted to accept its terms of use by clicking on the toggle buttons and the submit button. If this is the first time the student has accessed Smarter Proctoring, they will be prompted to customize their profile and preferences. The student will click the Get Started button. In the form that appears, the student will verify their email, time zone, and location. Once the student completes the required fields and clicks Save, the student will progress to the next step. The student will see a screen that lists available proctoring sessions. To begin the session, the student clicks on the Choose a Proctor button. On the automated proctoring page, the student will click the Choose button. A System Requirements page will appear. The student clicks on the Continue button. The Setup Session screen will appear. The student will click the Start Session Now button. If this is the first time that the student has accessed Smarter Proctoring, they will be prompted to install the Smarter Proctoring Chrome extension. Once the Smarter Proctoring extension is installed, the student will see the Agreements check screen. Here, the student must consent to the terms of the proctored session and click the Submit button. The student will then click on the next arrow. A Chrome permission check screen will appear. The student must follow the instructions on the screen to enable the required permissions. Once the Smarter Proctoring extension is installed, the student may proceed with viewing a brief video that advises students of the automated proctoring process. The student may proceed with the next step by clicking the Continue button. The Internet Speed Check page will appear. Once the check is complete, the student will click the next arrow. The audio check, camera check, and screen sharing check pages will appear. The student must follow the instructions on these screens to ensure that their camera and microphone are set up for the session. Once these checks are complete, the student will click on the next arrow. The preparing session screen will appear and indicate that the session preparation is now complete. The student will click the next arrow. If the instructor requires students to verify their identity or scan their room, the student must follow the instructions on the screen to complete the check and then click the next arrow. Once these security steps are complete, the student will be taken to the Blackboard page where the test is located. The student will click on the link to the test. The student will click on the Tests Begin button. The test will load on the page and the student will select answers to the questions. Once the student is done answering the test questions, the student clicks on the Test Save and Submit button. If the student is successful, they will see the Test Submitted Confirmation page. The student may now end the proctored session by clicking on the Stop Proctoring Session option in the proctoring menu. If you have any questions about this technology, contact the Online Learning Department.